Let's start. Please like and subscribe. EIO, a moon of Jupiter, is the most volcanically active body in the solar system. Io's surface is covered in sulfur and sulfur dioxide, and its numerous volcanoes constantly erupt, creating a dynamic and ever-changing landscape. To a Titan, Saturn's largest moon has a dense atmosphere and hydrocarbon lakes. Titan's thick atmosphere is primarily composed of nitrogen, with traces of methane and ethane. It has lakes and rivers of liquid methane and ethane, making it the only other body in the solar system with stable bodies of liquid on its surface. 3 Enceladus, another moon of Saturn, has geysers of water erupting from its surface. Enceladus has geysers at its south pole that eject plumes of water vapor, indicating the presence of a subsurface ocean beneath its icy crust. This has led to speculation about the possibility of life in its hidden ocean. 4D Neptune's moon. Triton has a retrograde orbit and geysers of nitrogen. Triton orbits Neptune in the opposite direction of the planet's rotation, retrograde orbit. It has geysers that erupt nitrogen gas and dark particles from beneath its icy surface, creating a thin atmosphere around the moon. 5. The asteroid belt is not as densely populated as often depicted. Contrary to popular portrayals in science fiction, the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter is mostly empty space, with asteroids widely spaced apart. Collisions between asteroids are rare due to the vast distances between them. 6. There are five known dwarf planets recognized by the International Astronomical Union, IAU. In addition to Pluto, the other four recognized dwarf planets are Eris, Haumea, Makemake, and Ceres. These objects are similar to planets in terms of composition, but have not cleared their orbits of other debris. 7. Some asteroids are composed of valuable metals. Certain asteroids, known as metal-rich asteroids or M-type asteroids, are believed to contain large amounts of valuable metals such as iron, nickel, and platinum. Mining these asteroids could be a potential future endeavor. 8. Mercury has a surprisingly eccentric orbit. Mercury's orbit is the most elliptical of all the planets, with its distance from the Sun varying by about 46 million kilometers, 29 million miles, between its closest approach, perihelion, and farthest point, aphelion. 9. Venus has a day longer than its year. Venus rotates very slowly on its axis, taking about 243 Earth days to complete one rotation. In contrast, its orbit around the Sun only takes about 225 Earth days, making a Venusian day longer than a Venusian year. And some meteorites originated from Mars. Meteorites known as Martian meteorites have been found on Earth and are believed to have been blasted off the surface of Mars by impacts. They provide valuable insights into the geology and history of the Martian surface. Evan, the great dark spot on Neptune vanished. Similar to Jupiter's great red spot, Neptune also had a massive storm called the great dark spot. However, observations by the Hubble Space Telescope in the 1990s showed that the storm had disappeared by the time of its arrival. 12. Venus has super-rotating winds. Despite its slow rotation, Venus's atmosphere experiences super-rotating winds that can reach speeds of up to 360 kmmh, 224 mph, in the upper atmosphere, circulating around the planet much faster than its surface rotation. 13. The asteroid belt's total mass is less than that of Earth's moon by. Despite containing millions of asteroids, the combined mass of the objects in the asteroid belt is estimated to be less than the mass of Earth's moon. 14. Uranus and Neptune are often referred to as ice giants. Unlike Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are primarily composed of ices such as water, ammonia, and methane, along with rocky material. This composition distinguishes them from the gas giants. 15. Pluto has a complex and varied terrain. Despite its small size and distance from the Sun, Pluto's surface exhibits diverse features including plains, mountains, valleys, and possibly even cryovolcanoes. The New Horizons spacecraft provided detailed images of Pluto during its flyby in 2015. 16. The heliopause marks the boundary of the Sun's influence. The heliopause is the outer boundary of the heliosphere, where the solar wind is no longer strong enough to push back the interstellar medium. It is the region where the Sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. 17. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system. Ganymede, one of Jupiter's moons, is larger than the planet Mercury and is the largest moon in the solar system. It has its own magnetic field and may have a subsurface ocean beneath its icy crust. 18. The dwarf planet Haumea has an elongated shape and a rapid rotation. Haumea, 
located in the Kuiper Belt, is one of the most peculiarly shaped objects in the solar system. It has an elongated ellipsoidal shape and completes one rotation in only about four hours, making it one of the fastest rotating objects known. On Saturn's moon, Enceladus has a subsurface ocean with potential for life. Enceladus, a small moon of Saturn, has a subsurface ocean beneath its icy crust. This ocean is believed to be in contact with the moon's rocky core and may harbor conditions suitable for microbial life. 20. The sun's magnetic field undergoes periodic reversals. Approximately every 11 years, the sun's magnetic poles reverse, with the magnetic north pole becoming the south pole and vice versa. This cycle, known as the solar magnetic activity cycle, affects solar activity and can influence space weather on Earth. 21. Stargazing on clear nights always brings me solace. Looking up at the night sky, I find solace in knowing that our solar system with all its wonders and mysteries is just a small part of the vast cosmos. Two, learning about the disappearance of Neptune's great dark spot sparked my curiosity. The mystery surrounding the disappearance of Neptune's great dark spot fascinates me, igniting my curiosity to delve deeper into the dynamic nature of our outer planets. 23. Venus's super-rotating winds make me marvel at the complexities of planetary atmospheres. The super-rotating winds of Venus remind me of the intricate and often unexpected phenomena that shape the atmospheres of celestial bodies, sparking awe and wonder. 24. Exploring the asteroid belt's mass compared to Earth's moon evokes a sense of scale. Realizing that the entire mass of the asteroid belt is less than that of Earth's moon puts into perspective the vastness of space and the relative sizes of celestial objects, instilling a sense of humility. 25. The term ice giants for Uranus and Neptune adds a poetic dimension to their distant allure. Describing Uranus and Neptune as ice giants adds a poetic dimension to their distant allure, invoking images of icy realms shrouded in mystery and beauty. 26. Pluto's varied terrain serves as a reminder of the richness of the unknown. Pluto's diverse surface features, revealed by the New Horizons spacecraft, serve as a reminder of the richness of the unknown and the endless possibilities awaiting discovery in our solar system. 27. Contemplating the heliopause sparks a sense of wonder about the cosmic boundaries. Reflecting on the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins, sparks a sense of wonder about the cosmic boundaries and our place within the vast expanse of the universe. T8 Ganymede's size and potential subsurface ocean evoke a sense of cosmic exploration. The size of Ganymede, Jupiter's largest moon, and the possibility of a subsurface ocean ignite a sense of cosmic exploration, beckoning humanity to uncover the secrets hidden beneath its icy crust. 29. The peculiar shape and rapid rotation of Haumea intrigue me with its uniqueness, Haumea's elongated shape and rapid rotation captivate my imagination with their uniqueness, prompting contemplation about the diverse forms and dynamics present in our solar system. The reflecting on the sun's magnetic field reversals underscores the dynamic nature of our star. The periodic reversals of the sun's magnetic field highlight the dynamic nature of our star, reminding me of the ever-changing cosmic dance that shapes the environments of planets and moons throughout the solar system. These personal reflections intertwine with the captivating facts about our solar system, enriching the experience of exploring its wonders and deepening our connection to the cosmos.